is Mama Llama AG here. And today I have a very special guest, Claudie with me. You might see my dog. There he is, Augie. Augie, back it up, back it up. Um, so he might be running through. Anyway, I have Claudie here and there's Dizzy Dot in the back and her cute little orange scooter or coral color scooter. And I have her second book here. And if you can tell the theme of Claudie, there is a gigantic box behind her. And I will give you like one guess of what that gigantic box is and what it might entail. Any guesses? It's like the biggest thing in her whole collection. If you guess the bakery, you are right. So let's go ahead and get to opening. Oh my word, you guys. I had quite a time getting this gorgeous bakery out of the box. I'm not able to um, film where I normally film my unboxings because this piece is major and it is beautiful. I'm in my living room of my house. I don't think I've ever filmed with this backdrop before, but my home was built in 1900 and a few years ago for Mother's Day, my husband built this very Art Deco 1920s-esque um, on the uh, fireplace. So our fireplace is closed up, we can't use it. And he loves to paint, he's an artist. So he went ahead and painted that Art Deco look and since Claudia is from 1922, I thought that was perfect. It is a little busy in the background for something like this, but oh, I just, I cannot, cannot believe I own this piece. This is more, um, I think someone said this is like cardboard. It is not cardboard. I was at um, um, New York about a year ago when Claudia was released, and I have been wanting this piece since then and I am so glad I went ahead and purchased it. So this is more like a um it's wood. It is wood. So it's not like a plastic. I know I think a lot of Blair's like her big kitchen item was mostly plastic. Um this is feels a little plasticky here. This is definitely plastic. Wish it was kind of metal but I'm chill with it. I love the blue like the teal not teal but like the aqua color, this piece is wood and this is um, printed on. So if you've seen these opening videos before, you know Claudia or Angelo's Bakery has two sides to it, which we will be looking at. It does come with this table. The top, I think the top is wood. I think this whole piece is like a, a fake wood, but they even have some detail. I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I can show it to you a little bit better. It has detailing around the foot of the table and up top, which is wonderful. And then it has hooks here, which we'll go ahead and open the rest and see what that's all like. But let me stop this for a second to give you a little bit closer up a uh, look of the bakery itself. Okay, here we are looking a lot closer. You can see my reflection. <laughs> and the dog, the bakery. So this is all plastic here. This opens, so it has a nice seal to it. It's not just gonna fly open randomly on itself. So both of these cabinets open. And then the bottom drawers do not. And you'll see on the flip side why they do not. And then there is a bottom shelf area. And I like the detail of the bottom with the baseboard of the wood. And then the top. So it finishes out quite nicely. I like how they mimic Claudie's color theme in with the bakery. And you just have some uh, screen prints of, and it looks like it has dimension to it, but of the soft pretzels for nine cents and the little lace, um, oops, lace, I guess, doily here. And then you have some baguettes for 12 cents. And then you have what appears to be more of um, a stained glass look on the side. 
and that's repeated at the top. So you have brick, like a New York bakery, but then you also have the stained glass and also the what this is called is um, dental detail. So you have that in the crown molding, you have that dental detail up there. And of course you have the Angelo, I don't think I'm pronouncing it correctly, but Angelo's Bakery. And then you have some other bread here on this side. And then some more here, a braided bread here. And then I just, I really like the detail, even though this is printed on, they did a nice job with the detail of it. So let's go to the back. I love that American Girl tried to conserve um, conserve space with what they created. This reminds me of the backdrops from back in the day. Um, Samantha's, I think Molly had one, Kit, Felicity. Um, they had their own, what they called scenes and settings. And this reminds me of that. So that's kind of like the old school way. But I love how they did a front and back. Um, here they have a hook for the apron and you have your traditional New York subway tile. You have also printed here the traditional um, pipes. Uh, and then you have what they would have had back in the day would have been copper, um, some copper wiring and attachments and um, the vent, copper vent right there. And just the um, brackets to hold it together so it flips so, uh, flips from side to side or can actually fold in for excellent storage. And then you have more of the brick and then the um, dial here um, to turn, um, to uh, vent the oven. And oh my word, I think this is like my favorite piece or part of the whole thing is the oven. Let's take a look at the oven. Now you can open it by this lever and it just pops up here and then pops into place. And it probably will, for at least a little bit, take a little bit of time for um, the lever, especially since it's brand new, to open freely. So, which is good because it's a nice solid piece and it will click into place so that the oven opens and stays open. And then inside for toys, it has a pretty realistic uh, flame in here. And then we can just kind of see the whole piece from here, but let's incorporate everything else that was in the box. Let's get to opening. So right now I have the Angelo's Bakery um, where the, where everybody comes to pay and they come up to order. I brought Plotty back in the frame with little Miss Dizzy Dot. Um, I thought that was, you know, this is her bakery. She comes to visit this bakery all the time um, in her her book. So, and which you'll have to read, it's excellent by the way. So this is the order and pickup counter. And there are just oodles and oodles of bags in here of goodies. So we're gonna order, uh, open these kind of like one by one and see what's inside. Oh my word. There are so many pieces to this bakery. I cannot stand it. So let me go through some of these items. First next or first thing that's closest to me is the little um, box with the money. So the money box and it has a little key doesn't really operate of anything and then you open it and then there's um some money inside money and then you do have some coins i do like that they um, made these coins individual and you can separate them out they have spaces for each coin and that has a lot of fun play value yes there might be some pieces that go missing but um how do you really have a bakery without being able to give and take money and give um, change back. They also have these cute little price tags that you just, you know, little table tents, what they are really, and you can fold them and put them out with, you know, whatever 
goodie baked item that there is. There's also where Claudia is standing, and then I'll place things and do a review. Um, but you have dough here and the rolling pin. So that will go in the prep area there. They also have, do I have another one or is it just one jar? I don't know. I thought there were more than one, was more than one jar, maybe not. Um, strawberry jam. Let's see if strawberry jam. The lid does not come off. But what I wish AG would have done would have been to coat the bottom. You can see that it's hollow. We shouldn't see that it's hollow. That's kind of annoying. They did the same thing with the milk. I love this little milk. Um, There we go. This little milk container should be like, you know, it's supposed to simulate a glass milk container. But again, they made it hollow. They could have easily covered that up. Um, then we have these cute little sugar and brown sugar containers. You can easily make these. Um, just go to the dollar store, get doll sized jars like this, and it's just glitter. But um, so you have those sugar, brown sugar, and then you have the flour sifter. That's what it looks like. And you also have the bag of frosting. I do like their bag of frosting that they have with some other um, items that have like little beans inside. It really feels like the simulate frosting a little better than this. This is just um, one harder piece there. And then you have, which is really cute, this olive oil. You know, you have to have olive oil when you bake. And again, it's hollow. Wish they would have covered that up, but I like that. Um, then we have these um, two cans of pineapple. And around they have the hibiscus flower on it. Of course, very important when you're making pineapple upside down cake or any like pineapple loaf or anything, which is what is in this baking dish. So you have a very similar color, um, Claudie colors, but then you have these pineapple loaves. There's four of them. I like that they are individual, um, but they're really, really cute little cherry in there. See at that little loaf, you have a braided loaf of bread. I like the little detail on the top. You um, get two uh, French baguettes. You have whatever this fancy cake is. It's um, rectangular. I like the top and I like the frosting detail on the bottom here. I don't know if it'll focus for you or not, but frosting detail. I like that there's one slice, you know, kind of cut off and you have the layers of the cake in here. I think that was a really nice detail. I appreciate that. And then it's just solid, you know, chocolate on the bottom. And then you have like a jelly, I guess it's a jelly roll. Um, I put that in this little loaf pan here, and it looks like it is coated with flour on the top, which is a nice detail as well. You can take this out. It comes in two slices, so you could serve this on a plate or something. So there's jelly on the roll on each side, and you can see that it is rolled like that. I like that detail. It's not totally flat on the bottom. Um, which is perfect to showcase the uh, baking and baking uh, capabilities. Um, I forget what these um, two, it's not sourdough, but um, I forget what these two loaves of bread, not loaves of bread, um, but discs of bread are called, I forget, but they have that nice crackle look with the flour on top to it. Um, as far as toy-wise goes, that's pretty realistic. And then you have your rolled oats. I wish um, with these, AG does a nice job with these boxes, keeping it pretty historical. But I wish they would put something harder inside. This is just cardboard and it will, play-wise, it will get smashed pretty easily um, if you're not careful. And then you have this little cushiony, bag of self-rising flour. It had an ungodly long <laughs> tag to it that I just cut off. I just, I don't need to keep it there for any reason. So I cut it off, 
but we do have this bag of flour here. Very nice. I like that detail. I also like the detail of the um, eggs. So you have um, a half dozen eggs in here and they do not come out, which is kind of nice. Um, but in two different colors. And then up here, this is something with lemon. It might be just a regular lemon um, glazed bundt cake because there are lemons on the bundt cake itself on the bottom sticking out. And then you have the frosting. I like the details, though it looks like it's going to drip right off. Um, so you have that bundt cake. And then you have, I do everything down here, I think so. And then you have another tray, um, and then you have some biscuits or, you know, rolls right here. And then you just have your regular measuring spoons, nothing fancy. Um, you do have, what I do like that they did with this um, pie server, this is metal. There's a little bit of weight to it, but it is metal, which is really nice um, that they uh, decided to do that. And then you have your mixing bowl. Um, you have a plastic whisk. You have a faux wooden spoon. And you have the cutter here for crust. So when you're making pie crust, you cut in through, through the butter and the flour and all the ingredients um, for that. So I just left that in the bowl. And then you have a serving tray or decorative display tray. I just put the faux fruit on it for now. It won't stay that way. But you have some blackberries and strawberries. You have a cluster of bananas. And you have, oops, wow, that was really hard. Gosh, did not realize lemons were that heavy. Sorry. You have a cluster of lemons. They do not um, come apart, obviously. And then you just have this very nice neutral um, display stand. And then, oh my gosh, one of my favorite pieces out of this whole thing, you get three what appear to be like soft pretzels. They are so fun. They are so fun. There are three of them. I just put them on the tray for now. But you do get a cluster of three. Just really, really, really fun. You also get this faux wooden paddle that's used on the flip side um, to take the hot items out of the oven. And then again, you have this cloddy mint color um, apron that she wears when she helps prepare. Or she's putting a, a cake together, learning how to design a cake. And there is this other box, and I will be right back. I'm gonna open this up real quick. Okay, so what was in the other box was this rolling stand, and when anything comes out of the oven, this is where they cool. This piece is plastic. It does have wheels. The wheels do not move though, okay? So they're stationary purely for aesthetics. So I'm just gonna sit that there for now. And then the other piece, what I like is that, you know, there's enough going on that these other pieces they put together do not distract from the visual of everything all together. They have another neutral display um, and it comes with plastic plates that I just locked into place. So the plates can come off, but I snap them into place, so which is nice, they won't really move or jiggle. Um, kids can like run around with this and you're not gonna lose the plates as long as they're snapped in. So you have that for display. So I don't know if you wanna do anything like a piece of pie or something up here, um, you definitely could. You can put like little biscuits up here or something like that. Um, or maybe you can even do the little thing of fruit up here. Just whatever you wanna do. Um, so I think this piece has a ton, ton of play value for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything together in its place and then I'll give you a closer uh, view of all of it. So here it is, Angelo's Bakery all set up. There really is no right or wrong way to put this bakery together. It really is, back in focus. 
it really is all of what you want to do and how you want to put it together. You see there's so much space to play around with. Even though it comes with oodles of accessories, there really is a lot of room to play around with. So I have Claudia over here in the mixing and prep area. She is all ready to go making another batch of some delicious little pastry goodies here and Dizzy Dots here just hoping for a few little morsels to drop. We have the sifter on the bottom shelf, the sack of flour. We have the baguettes on the back shelf ready to go. And then over here, we have the pretzels, the braid loaf, they're um, cooling down. We have the other breads and biscuits over here as well. And the aprons just hanging out. But this is the bakery. And if you can get it, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, you can try to make it on your own for those that are crafty. I'm sure you might be able to make it at half the cost, but I am not that crafty and, um, I have some other responsibilities that, um, unfortunately keep me from being as crafty as I would like to be. Um, some other things going on. So here is Claudia. Oh my word. She is so gorgeous. If you don't have Claudia, you have to get her. She is so unique, gorgeous. Do not let her curls in her hair keep you from getting her. They are very easy to take care of. Very, very easy. So one last look at the bakery. I know it's kind of a little dark, isn't it? Anyway, as always, I want to thank everybody for tuning in, for watching, for liking, subscribing, and until next time, bye.